Hello, hello everybody and welcome back for another strategy, tactics and boost video. We are one day before our racing weekend and I hope our first video for the qualifying round uh, made a difference, helped you to make it to the opening and this is what we are going to talk about uh, in this video opening and final round tracks strategies for these tracks and what we have uh, new since the last video the boosts remain boosted for another month this is great news i believe well for almost everyone some players didn't like it if you ask me i enjoy it very much of course, uh, as Hat said, we're going to have uh, some increase in the bots difficulty, but it said for uh, series 4 to 9, but it said weekly GPs too. I don't know if they meant that the bots in Contender or maybe Junior or Challenger are going to be more uh, difficult to beat or this will go up to uh, the champion's tire well uh, Saturday is coming the opening round is coming so yep we are going to find out uh, the changes now let's go and see our tracks for the weekend And of course, we have two times Mexico and both times with chances of rain. First race, low chances of rain. Eighth race, 60% chance of a wet race. Uh, our second track is uh, USA, Miami. Then we travel to Belgium and Spa. UK, Silverstone, Montreal in Canada. And then we have two more tracks with some chances of rain small chances 12 percent each track baku and barcelona no high temperatures this means we can use in all tracks the softest compound our drivers can support one moment okay and oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, we're ready so let's okay no give me one second okay now we are okay and let's start from Mexico. We saw the strategies for Mexico in our previous video, but let's just see them once more. For me, this is, as I said, the second fastest, the second best strategy we can follow. 5-3, medium, soft. And by the way, now that we said that uh, the boosts remain boosted for another month, this means if you have low level or low series drivers, go uh, and choose boosts that mainly boost your driver, uh, your driver's stats and mainly race start and overtaking or race start and in some tracks, maybe um, tire management. These are the three stats we want to uh, to improve race start overtaking and tire management so 5-3 second fastest strategy this is the fastest strategy 4-4 four, four. if you can soft medium else uh, it's uh, medium medium of course it can be hard hard too but Mexico one pit strategy and of course an alternative 
uh, strategy, the third best strategy is this one, trying to do the undercut, uh, although this season without fuel, but with fuel gone and ERS uh, taking its place, the undercut doesn't work so well in dry races, it, work, it works perfectly in wet races. Talking about wet races, if it rains in Mexico, the bots will pit at lap 5. What do we do in wet races? We always pit one lap before the bots. 4-4, four, four, even for both your drivers, unless you have... This is an alternative if you are afraid uh, that you are going to have heavy stacking in the pits. I mean, both drivers coming uh, with less than a second or a second and a half difference both coming in the pits then you are going to lose a lot of time then maybe 4-4 four, four, and 3-5 for your other driver and of course if your driver is at the top of the grid if at lap 4 you are P1, P2, P3 stay on track go for another lap and pit on lap five so next one mexico eh, <laughs> no we were in mexico next one is uh next one is miami and here the strategy is simple two pit stops two two three we're not going to have high temperatures so if you have good tire management soft soft medium and medium soft soft unless you are afraid or you want to push and chase opponents then maybe it's three uh, it's medium soft medium but only if you are afraid that you cannot push with softs else go for softs you're going to be faster and you're going to overtake much easier your opponents now as far as boosting here as I always say if you have low drivers boost your drivers restart and here overtaking but if you have uh, high drivers boost your and even maxed out drivers boost your car in this track we mainly want to boost our speed so if we don't need, uh, if we don't need to boost our race start, that fast is a very good boost here. We get maximum speed plus 25, as you can see. We get plus 20 in our uh, in our um, ERS. This means we are going to have even more. Uh, time to push our red button and we get some tire management which is useful especially if you don't have a maxed out tire management it will help us go instead of medium soft medium medium soft soft much easier of course another great boost uh, for this track is this one plus 25 in ERS plus 20 in speed and some boosting in our overtaking if your driver needs some boosting there uh, it's a very good boost mainly Miami needs speed and less cornering so yeah go and because most of our setups have uh, more cornering and less speed go and boost your speed of course this is always a very good boost because it will boost cornering but it will boost our speed too and we are doing don't forget we are doing two pit stops so this means boosting our pit times making them less uh staying less in the pit uh, can be very crucial so 
Για Mare Lion And Where are you? Where are you? Okay, here it is. And of course, you need uh, this is more uh, boost, uh, more pit boost oriented. Uh, we will gain half a second here with plus 25. We gain half a second in every pit stop. So, this means two pit stops, one second faster. Uh, yeah, it's it's great when uh, for two pit uh, strategies. Okay, and of course, don't forget the boost of the event, skull, overtaking, speed, and ERS. It's all you need in a fast and furious track like this. Okay, so let's go to the next one, which is Spa. This is also a very fast, uh, a, a very fast track, but we mainly overtake in sector two, the blue sector. As you can see, it this means that we want to be fast in corners too. So, if we boost our drivers, uh, if we want to boost um, our the driver's race start, then probably something like Koopa or Hera or Herar or maybe even Hook Herald for a better uh, race start can be a very useful here. Koopa, of course, Prince, we all know uh, this. Um, so let's go and see if you are at the back you can do the undercut go for two pit stops and you are afraid of doing the same going the same strategy for both your drivers then one three two is possible be careful in the middle stint with how much you are going to push because is three laps with mediums uh it's yeah you will be with no tires by the end of the of the third lap. Of course, there is always three three with hards or with mediums. But for me, these strategies are a little bit passive. The best one and the fastest one is this. Wherever you are, two pit stops, all softs. And now here. Okay, if you start at the back or maybe in the middle of the grid, yes, go for a good race start and some cornering or a race start and some speed depending on your setup. This means the best boosts would be Koopa or Firework, as you can see. And where is it? Okay, okay, here it is. And of course, Street Shark. But one of the best choices here can easily be this one. Kavai. Before the boosting of the boosts, Kavai was an okay boost. Now that the boosts are boosted, we have of course, good cornering, good race start, but this is what makes the difference. Plus 15 in pit times. Uh, this means uh, three tenths of a second every pit, six tenths of a second the whole race. Believe me, it makes a difference if you are afraid that two pit stops will uh, make you lose time use a boost like this and of course if you don't need race start as I said Merlion, Tunin are the perfect choices for here so next one is Silverstone and of course if you want one pit stop or, or if you are at the back mainly and maybe in the middle 
Yes. One pit stop, four three, hard medium. And three four, medium hard. But if you are in the middle or at the top of the grid, two pit stops, soft, soft, medium, and medium, soft, soft. It's fast. Uh, the pit lane in Silverstone favors the ones that do two pit stops. You, we don't lose much time uh, in the pit lane, so it's uh, it's a great choice here. It's a great strategy. You can try it if you are at the back but mainly if you are in the middle or at the top of the grid and of course again here as i showed before this is a little bit a combo track so merlion and tune in if you don't want uh, to boost your race start else you know either street shark firework or uh Kapai, Koopa, prince herald hook all of these are uh, great boosts to use. Now, Canada Montreal. I'm going to keep shouting about this track. First of all, let's see if we are at the back of the grid. One pit stop is probably better. If you can do these five laps with mediums, it would be even better. But okay, depends on your tire management. The fastest strategy some say it's this one soft medium it's a fast strategy it's a very fast strategy and a secure one a safe one but for me the best strategy we can go is two three three and three three two all softs in canada all our opponents are using mediums and hards with softs, we overtake them even sometimes when we are conserving. So don't be afraid, use, uh, use uh, the softs, use two, uh, go for two pit stops. Um, how fast you are with softs makes up for uh, the time we lose doing one more pit stop. Baku, we raced recently in Baku and it's one of the seven lap tracks that when you are in the middle or at the top of the grid, doing two pit stops is faster than going for one pit stop. Don't forget that uh, we mainly recharge in sector three, not we, we recharge in sector three, the yellow sector. We push a little, or if we need even more in sector one, the, the, the first sector, but where we can make the difference, where the difference can be made in sector two, which is the slowest sector. This is why we need good cornering here to be fast in that slow sector, to be faster than others. If you are at the back, go for one bit, four, three, hard, medium. If you can support it, four, three, medium, medium. This means some a little bit more conserving in your first stint and push as much as you can in your second one. The opposite is always with medium and hard for the second stint because uh, we cannot go for laps with mediums and push, that's why hard. But middle or top of the grid, if you want, try it if you are at the back of the grid, but uh, most of the times when we are at the back of the grid, the less pit, pit uh, stops we do, the better. It's not the same when we get in the middle or at the top of the grid. Then the game changes. The race, it's a different race. So there we do two pits, two, two, three, and three, two, two, 
if uh whatever we choose if we want to boost our driver we will choose something that will boost cornering and two stats of the driver this is like saying use Koopa, which will boost our driver's race start and overtaking but it will boost much our cornering we need to be fast in that sector too and of course if it rains we pit before the bots the bots will pit lap 4 we pit in lap 3 only if we are at the, at the top we pit lap 4 it's the same in every track I know that I'm saying the same thing in every track when it's about a wet race but this is how it works in every track when it's a wet race so just do this and everything will go uh, fine now Barcelona here five laps with mediums as I said in Canada not possible so if we decide to go one pit five uh, three then it's hard soft or if we do the opposite we go for the undercut then it's soft hard 3-5 but the fastest strategy here is this one 4-4 four, four. don't try it with softs you will be uh, you will need to conserve a lot and you will be uh, slower than doing it with mediums so 4-4 four, four, medium medium the fastest strategy all the way whatever you even if you start p10 p12 or even if you start p1 it's the fastest strategy and for your second driver so you mix the strategies and you don't have to think about uh, making a gap so you don't have stacking in the pits three three two is almost equal as fast as four four let's say in the whole race it must be half a second slower but it's um, as i say equally fast so first driver 4-4 four, four. probably the driver that is at the lowest position give him the best strategy 4-4 four, four, and give the second best strategy to your top driver because he is in an advantage, he is in higher places, so he doesn't need the best strategy. Your driver that is a little bit further back needs it. And of course, if he trains 4-4, four, four, bots will pit in lap 5. If we are at the top, 5-3, uh, only if we are at the top. And yeah, that's it. As far as boosting here goes, uh, it's mostly a cornering track, but with the big straight there, if we don't, if we are not going to use um, a boost with race start, then probably the two combo boosts, especially for the driver that is going uh, to pit stops. Uh, the two combo boosts I believe uh, they are going to be the best choice okay so that's it for our uh, eight races let's go and see them again So we have Mexico with 16% sense of rain and then it's Miami, Spa, Silverstone, Montreal, all dry races, then Baku and Barcelona with 12% sense of rain and finally again back to Mexico with 60% sense of 
training so uh that's it that's it for this uh for this gp for the mexico gp i hope we are going to help you again once more with uh, these strategies. I am very happy when you send me messages telling me that the strategies, these strategies helped you to do uh, a good score. I hope we keep uh, helping even more uh, players and let's make it to the final and from there to the highest place we can uh, don't forget read the description below in the of the video read the description it's uh, there is uh, the link of my discord join my discord server so there you can ask me anything you want you can see um, i have strategies for all the tracks uploaded there uh you can uh, you can join the gang and uh learn more about the game and of course don't forget to subscribe to the channel press that small bell that will uh keep you notified when i'm uploading a video or when i'm live streaming and of course smash the like button thank you everybody uh have great races this weekend see you in my next live stream bye Bye.